All right, guys, we're back to talk about another uh, gun on the tabletop here. Hopefully, I'll be able to do something a little more exciting soon. Uh, this time, we do have a borrowed 5-inch uh, barrel, 4.5-inch barrel, uh, white rhino from uh, Chiapa, the rhino. Um, gun's been out for a little while. You're probably familiar with it. If not, the big thing that sets this gun apart is you'll notice the top of it's hollow because the bottom fires, or the barrel fires from the bottom cylinder. Uh, so very unique gun, uh, not necessarily the first time it's ever been done to my knowledge, but definitely the most recent, most prevalent uh, uh, firearm out there like this. Um, starting at the top, do have a fiber optic front sight, an adjustable rear sight. It's adjustable for windage and elevation. Um, you do have one thing that you, you find, as my watch sticks to the table, um, is right behind the sights and I have no idea if I can get enough light for you to be able to see this but right behind the sights there is a as we pull the trigger and uh, you can't see it sweet well you can barely make it out there's a little red nub that sticks up and you can see it right there that is a cocking indicator uh, what that means is just like we just did thumb the hammer back that stob if I can keep from getting you seasick is standing up in the air and you'll notice the hammer went back forward very unique uh, to this gun uh, not very common uh, then of course you have your single stage trigger pull just like you would have and uh, double action also as you let the light adjust as you pull the trigger eh, you can't really see it but that stop does come up kind of something different I'm not sure if I like it or don't like it but it's there um, cylinder release button cylinder, cylinder release latch very unique to this gun. Normally, you'll find it somewhere on the side of the gun. Here, it is a lever that hangs off behind the hammer, uh, downward on the lever, through just like every other revolver. And of course, we see here it is a six-shot gun, uh, chamber for 357 Magnum. Of course, you can shoot 38 specials in it too. Very unique. A um, little different experience shooting it. It's not like it completely does away with the recoil, but it is a little different. Uh, you can see very futuristic design as far as the cylinders being uh, uh, non-fluted and also kind of being cut in these flats very unique looking little gun uh, called the white rhino because it is stainless uh, of course the, the rhino is a, a blue gun uh, you do have your cool little tactical rail up there by the way I wish I had my bayonet uh, so I could throw it on there and show you, show you how bad it looks but anyways uh, comes with this factory set of um, I don't know if it's a walnut uh, or a faux walnut grip, uh, but it's there. Kind of a weird grip angle. Um, it is kind of index cut. I do like this on each side, uh, depending on the size of your finger and how you want to shoot the gun. It does kind of help you get on the trigger a little more comfortably. Um, but pretty interesting little gun. Retails, I think, right around the $800 mark. Um, you know, it's not night and day versus every other revolver out there, but it is very unique. Uh, hopefully, maybe if you're interested in answering some questions, if not, comment or uh, message me. Uh, definitely try to help as much as I can. Uh, check your local gun shops for this little beauty. They are a little hard to come by. I remember the uh, the guy that I borrowed this from had to look everywhere for a stainless. Uh, the normal Rhino, the blue one, should be kind of easy to find. A stainless, maybe not so much. But definitely check with the local guys and see what can be done. And uh, any questions or concerns, let me know. Please like, favorite, subscribe, and uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks.